So as we get started today this video is divided into chapters. If you wanna skip at any point just look at the sliding bar underneath the plating window and you can see the chapters to skip ahead. Welcome back to the Crochet Kratos. Also my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. We're continuing with our patent sampler afghan. Today we're working on this square here. This square here is on page number three and it is called the Waves and Flowers motif. Starts here and then goes over onto page number four. So this is what it looks like here and if you'd like to do the repeat pattern for this it's multiples of 13 plus four. I just hand drew this. This will not be available to you but I did it for myself so I could figure out the multiples because I know some of you will ask. So if you would like to change the size of this make it even bigger it's multiples of 13. So 13, 13, 13 and when you're satisfied with the width just add four and you'll have the balance. If you wanna take a screenshot now and just hold and just be able to take a screenshot you can do so. I'll hold for a second. And in the meantime we're gonna head right into this pattern using a five millimeter size H crochet hook and I'm still continuing to use my uh, Bernat Super Saver or Red Heart Super Saver or <laughs> Bernat Super Value or Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Let's be so let's begin this square today and you need to chain a multiple of 30 in order to begin. Remember that the first one on the hook number counts as one. So we're just gonna do 30. So one, two, three, four, five and come back with me after you have 30 done and I'll be right back. Let's begin row number one. It's not as hard as it looks if you're reading the pattern and we're gonna take it step by step. So you're gonna go fifth chain from the hook. So let's count back from the hook and you're gonna say one, two, three, four and the fifth one and turn it over and get the back hump of the fifth one and I need you to double crochet. Now the skipping of those five chains that we just did counts as a treble and you'll have to think about that in the future. So we're now going to double crochet the very next one half double crochet the next one. So we're creating a wave. So this is a smaller stitch so it's a half double and then we're going to single crochet the next two in a row. So we have one and two and then the next two chains are two, uh, slip stitch each. So just slip and slip and now we're gonna get bigger again. So just think of it like a wave. So to go bigger the next one is a ha uh, is a next two sorry are single crochet. So we have one and two. The next one is a half double crochet and then the next two are double crochet. So we have one and two and finally the end of the repeat is here so it's a treble. So wrap that hook twice and go into the next one it's a treble. So it's the highest part of the wave. So when we started that chain five that we had is a treble and then this is a treble so therefore you have the dipping of the wave. Let's continue along. So the next two in a row are double crochet. So we have one and two and then we have a half double crochet and then the next two are single crochet. So we have one and two and then two slip stitches uh, sorry slip stitch in the next two. So we have one and two. So we're now coming closer to the end so we're gonna get bigger and end with a treble. So we're just the next two are going to be single crochet. So we have one and two. A half double crochet and then the next two are double crochet and then finally the very last chain should be a treble. So we have one chain left. Just wrap that hook twice and finish with the treble. And this here is row number one. So when you turn it you can see the waves up and down is exactly what we're going for. Let's move on to row number two. Let's begin row number two. So we're gonna start and we're going to chain three and we're going to double crochet then into the very first stitch here. Okay, right where it comes in. So not the next one, the same one. If you're ever unsure, if you go to the end of the instructions on row number two, it says two double crochet in the top of the turning chain. So that means that there's two stitches sharing. 
and because it's the top of the wave it actually makes sense too. So we're going to double crochet in each of the next five. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. And now there's a lot of instructions for what's next but it's just a two together double crochet. So in the next two here there's gonna be two together double crochet. So just wrap the hook going into the next stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. So don't finish it and then go into the next one and do the same thing. So wrap and in, pull through, pull through two and hold and then pull through all three stitches and that's a two together double crochet. Now we're gonna double crochet in the next um, five in a row. So we went five down, five up, it's a wave. So we're gonna go five in a row. So let's count those together. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now the next one here I can see below it's a treble and so I know I'm balanced and in the next stitch here you're going to put three double crochets in there. So that allows it to turn the wave. So one, two, and three. So when you think about the edges, the edges are half of a, of a wave, right? So there's only two in this one but because this is a full wave going over there's three. So now you're gonna go down and how many you're gonna go down if you went down five and up five. Just remember that you're going to go down five. So double crochet five in a row. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then that's the bottom of the wave. So we're going to put the next two together. If you figured out those are the slip stitches, you're right. So you're going to put those two together. and then you're gonna go up the next five. So we have one, two, we'll try two again, three, four, and five and you still have the turning chain to work with. So there's going to be two right into the chain work itself. So we're gonna go right in the chain. Don't go into a space because that'll hold it open. So just in the chain itself put two and that was the conclusion of row number two. So if you turn it, it looks even more solid now and it's going up and down. Let's start row number three and row number three is going to be the start of the repeat for the remaining of this pattern. So rows number three through eight is the repeat for the remaining of the pattern. So we're gonna go through rows through, through uh, three through eight and then we're gonna do rows three through eight one more time and then we're gonna finish with row number 15 at the end. So we're going to start with row number three. So just chain up one and just place in one single crochet in each stitch going all the way across. And that will be row number three, maybe at the end of the row and we'll talk and move on to row number four. When you come all the way to the other side, don't forget that turning chain is also a stitch which is right here. So go into the chain work itself and we're moving on to row number four next. So row number four we're moving on and we're gonna create what they're claiming to be flowers and that's what we're gonna do next. So we're going to start with chaining one and you'll do one single crochet into the first stitch. Now you're going to chain a total of three. So one, two, three and you're going to skip over six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six and go to the seventh and that's where you're going to start your clusters. So then you're going to wrap the hook twice and going into that seventh one away, just going in and then pull through two and two and hold it. Now you need to do this a total of three times before you can move on. So this is once so wrap the hook twice and in the same one pull through, pull through two and two and hold and do it again. Wrap twice and in, pull through, pull through two and two. You should have a total of four loops on the hook before you're moving on. So then what you're just gonna do is then pull through 
all four loops and then chain two and do that twice more. Okay, so wrap the hook twice and in, pull through, pull through two and two and wrap twice, pull through two and two keep doing that. I think on the original sample I didn't wrap it twice. Once you see the four loops, pull through, chain two and do it one more time. So pull through two and two and hold. Okay, and after you get that last one done, so you pull through, we're then going to move on and you're going to chain three. So one, two, three and skip the next six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and go to the seventh. It looks like it's gonna be the top of the wave. And we wanna repeat this again. So to repeat, you're going to chain three. So one, two, three skip six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and go to the seventh and then begin doing your cluster. So wrap in those twice and keep on collecting those until you see four loops on the hook. There's my four, pull through, chain two and do it again. Once you get that last one done. So once the last cluster is in, you're going to just chain three. So one, two, three, and then just single crochet into the last one right here. And therefore this is what it will look like. And we're gonna move on to round number five. So let's begin number five. You're going to chain two, it will not count as anything and it's just a double crochet into the first single crochet. And let's just work our way through the spacing. In the next chain three space, there will be two double crochet. So let's do that. So we have one and two. And then we have a double crochet in the next cluster. So see how it's kind of going around like that right there? That's where you wanna stick your hook. So one there. And then in the next chain two space, you're going to apply two double crochet. And now in the next cluster here, it's the middle one, there's going to be three double crochet into the cluster. So this helps maintain the top of that wave. And now the next space here is going to be two double crochet. So we have one and two. And then we're going to do one double crochet into the next cluster. And this is the sinking of the, uh, in the middle here. So what you're going to apply two double crochets around the space first. So one and two. And what we have to do is a two together double crochet using this chain and this chain. So wrap and go around the first chain here. Pull through two and hold it. And then wrap and go around the next chain, pull through, pull through two and hold it, and then pull through all three. And those are doing a decrease using those chains only. So let's go back up the other side. So you're gonna apply two double crochet into that same chain that you just were in. One into the cluster. Two into the next chain. And then that's the middle cluster of the group, which is next. So you'll apply in the cluster itself, three double crochet. So that keeps that wave moving. And then come down the other side. So two into the next space. One into the cluster. 
two into the next chain three space. And then one double crochet into the single crochet here. And then that's it. That was row number five. Okay, let's turn our work and begin number six. Let's begin row number six. Nice and easy. Just chain up one and apply one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way across. And I'll see you at the end of number six in just a moment. So we'll move on to number seven in a second. As we come to the end of number six, remember the chain two is not an extra stitch. So make sure you just come into the last double crochet and stop. So don't put anything into the chain two chain. Turn your work and let's begin row number seven. In row number seven we're gonna be moving these clusters. So we're gonna have a cluster here and then in the middle and then a partial. So there will be a partial, a full and a partial. Let's begin. We're going to chain three. So one, two, three and you need to treble, chain two and cluster all in the first stitch. So you're just gonna treble into the first stitch. So not the next one, just right where that chain three is coming out of. And then chain two. So this here, what you did, the chain three, this, this here um, treble counts as a partial of a cluster. Then you're gonna cluster into the same one. So if you recall, you're gonna wrap twice. Pull through two and two and start collecting until you see four loops on the hook. Once you see four pull through everything and because this here is the ending of a cluster. So think of it it's like here. So you're gonna chain three. So one, two, three and skip the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six and go to the seventh and do you see how it's lined up? So I know that it's pretty much accurate. Okay so we're now going to do a full cluster. So you have to chain three first and then skip the next six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and go to the seventh and you see it's lined up and start doing your cluster work. So you'll have your first cluster. Keep wrapping and pulling through until you see four loops. And there's your four. Pull through, chain two and do another, another one. Do another one. Okay, and after that one's done, chain three, skip six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go to the seventh, which you see it's lined up. And now we're going to do a partial on the end. So chain three before you start. And then go right into the last stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh is the last stitch. I just did that just for your benefit. And start with your first cluster. Okay, you got four loops, chain two. And the very last one is going to be a partial of this. So you just wrap twice and going in and wrap again and pull through all three loops and that will finish. And that was the end of row number seven. Let's turn and work and do row number eight which is gonna be the final of the repeat. So row number eight is like what we just did here where we did the decrease when we jumped over the chain work if you recall. And so the decrease of that happened in the middle here but it will happen here and here this time when we go to do that. So let's begin. You're going to chain three and that counts as your first double crochet and in the same stitch you're going to apply another double crochet. Now in the next chain two space you are going to apply two double crochet. And in the next cluster right here it's another double crochet. And as we're approaching here where this single crochet is you're going to put two double crochets into that chain. 
one and two and then a decrease going over this chain and this chain. So wrap and in this chain pull through, pull through two and hold and do the next one and then pull through all three loops. Now put two more double crochets in the same chain on this side and then work your way up. So one uh, in the double, sorry, one double crochet in the cluster, two into the next space and the next cluster here is the middle top of a peak. So in the cluster here you'll put three double crochets. So one, two and three and then work your way down. So the space is gonna have two. The cluster will have one. The next space will have two first and then you'll have to do a decrease again. So decrease over this chain and this chain. And then back up the other side. So two into the same one on this side. One into the cluster. Two into the next chain two space. and then two into the top of this partial cluster here. And that was row number eight. So let's turn and work and let's talk about the repeat on this now because you've gone through all the repeat pattern at this point. So you can see the major difference of when I did it before. So obviously I misread the instructions because these here I did as double crochet clusters and not treble and you can see the massive difference that it looks like. So you know the rule with crochet is if you do it wrong keep doing it wrong and if you don't realize you're doing it wrong just be consistent and that it will never be wrong. So I need you to repeat now rows number three through eight one more time and then you're going to then stop there and do one more row which is number 15 and in number 15 what we're going to do you know how we started off just with you know building it out on the chain we're going to do row number 15 um, and that's going to give it, get us back pretty much almost to a flat surface. So please do rows number three through eight one more time. So that's equivalent to nine through 14 and I'm going to show you then row number 15 next which is just building off on the end of row number eight. So let's do that next moving to row 15 which is the final. So if you look at the wave it really gives you an indication of like in the tops of the waves it'll be um, slip stitching and the bottoms you'll have your treble and your doubles and your, your halves as you're building up and down. So our goal is to fill in the space to get it almost to a flat surface. To start I need you to slip stitch in the first two. So consider the first one already been slip stitched it's just you just turned it and just slip stitch into the second and it will look, it, it'll look the same. Then I need you then to build a little bit bigger and if you recall how we did it is that there was two single crochets in a row. So one and two and then there was a half double crochet to get a bit bigger and then two double crochets to get even bigger. The next one will be a treble and you see it's in the top of this two together here. So that's exactly where it needs to go. And now we need to get smaller again. So the next two in a row are doubles. So one and two. Next one is a half and then two singles. So one and two and then slip stitch then in the next two. So one and two. So now we're gonna get bigger again. So we're gonna start off then and we'll put two singles in a row. We have one and two, a half double crochet to get bigger and then we have two double crochet. Sorry I, I stumbled for a second and then we have then a treble and then we have two double crochets. So we have one and two and then we have a half and then we have two singles in a row. 
So one and two and then finally we have two singles or sorry two slip stitches in a row right to the end here. And that see that brings us back and it gets us almost close to flat that we have here and this here would be that. So the border you just have to keep moving on in the pattern. Uh, the border has already been filmed. It's just the very first video that is in the se series and uh, that's what we're going to do and when you do the border it'll just wrap it nicely around and then put it aside. You need to make three of these and then you're good to go and then moving on to the next square next time there's more time. Have a good one and we hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.